Our daily lives pass in a temporal reality. We have human lives. We go to bed, sleep, wake up, have breakfast, have lunch, meet people. And again, it's a repetitious reality. But we do not live just for the present. We look forward to a bright future. And the bright future meets us from the pages or from the text of the book of Revelation, where it is written that there is going to be the marriage supper of the Lamb. In that marriage supper are all going to be invited. And today in the present reality, we who are looking forward to this future reality need to think of the unity of the price that was paid. It's not any supper, it's the marriage supper of the lamb, the one who paid the price that affected our salvation. And it is this goal in our minds that has to call us to unity. It has to, to make us to think, to, to provoke us to think that unity is important. Because there is one price, one God, one lamp, one marriage supper. Today there is the communion table. We are nourished by the body and the blood of Christ. We grow in this daily life, in the temporal life, expecting the future reality. We await that kingdom that comes daily to us because of the price paid by the lamb. And this is really what calls for us to pay the price, to live sacrificial lives and to live lives where we see the other human being, the other person and the other Christian brother and sister, to understand that we are parts of the same body and we grow in different continents, we have different lives in different social realities, but there is one future reality that awaits us, the marriage supper of the Lamb.